Um, yes, after the severe weather yesterday through the southwest, things getting a little better today. The full forecast now. Good morning to you. Well, we saw some very severe weather through the southwest yesterday, howling winds and exceptional amounts of rainfall. In fact, half the month, monthly average rainfall for November fell in a very short space of time, up to two and two and a half inches fell across the southwest through parts of Cornwall and it was that sheer intensity of rainfall that led to the flash flooding and even now several rivers remain on flood alert down there. We're going to see further showery outbreaks through the course of the day exacerbating the flood risk but on the whole getting better as the day goes on. For the rest of us, plenty of cloud this morning, preventing a frost forming. Showery outbreaks to the northeast, uh, giving really quite dull, damp conditions, but mostly action further west. Showers and longer pulses of rain into Northern Ireland, the northwest, uh, through into Wales and the West Country. And here, some lively downpours for a time, maybe a few rumbles of thunder, possibly even some hail. Through the course of the morning, it stays very windy across the north, strong gusty winds and exposure. Gales for a time for exposed spots of uh, Scotland and Ireland. And here, uh, the brisk winds will enhance the coldness. Some of the showers, the longer pulses of rain uh, moving into the north will provide some sleet and snow across the higher ground, particularly above 500 metres or so. The snow settling on the mountain tops here. Uh, for the south, well, here we'll see showers and longer pulses of rain. Uh, the showers into southern counties becoming confined to the English Channel coast by the latter stages of the afternoon. And then through many parts of the Midlands and the south, drying up but generally the sunshine in short supply today a thicker cloud will prevent uh, much in the way of brightness and we'll see further showery outbreaks into the north and the west all day in fact some of the thicker cloud could, could could well give spits and spots of rain well into the latter stages of the day. Overnight, further wet weather working its way westwards and eastwards. And then as the temperatures drop overnight, expect some mist and fog tomorrow morning, particularly in central spots. Find out. Thanks, Christine. Well, a little bit of everything again today. A strong gusty winds, outbreaks of rain. Let's find out what the full forecast is doing right now. Hello again. Good morning to you. Plenty of cloud and rain on the latest satellite and radar picture. Uh, so much cloud around. You can't see much of uh, northern Britain below at all. Showery outbreaks into the northeast this morning, but most of the action further west. Showers and longer pulses of rain into Northern Ireland, the northwest. Wales and the West Country slowly drying up 
too cool over the next few hours, but here, uh, further showers for a time, bringing some disruption to the clean-up effort. And with the wet weather forecast over the next couple of days, uh, this will exacerbate the existing flood risk in that area. Through the course of the morning, while staying chilly across the north, strong gusty winds and exposure for Scotland and Northern Ireland, showers and longer pulses of rain moving into the north and the west throughout the day. It will be cold enough for some sleet and snow across the higher ground of Scotland above 500 meters or so there will be some snow settling for the south showers some of these lively possibly thundery will become increasingly confined to channel coastal counties and then for the midlands and much of the south he's drying up quite nicely but thick cloud will prevent the sunshine developing and it will feel chilly particularly in the winds across the north. Overnight temperatures falling, drying up and turning misty and foggy come dawn. Hello again, good morning to you. Well, more wet and windy weather on the cards today, this time mostly for the north. A slow improvement for the south and the southwest, so the clean up effort can begin across Cornwall. Plenty of cloud around this morning, showery outbreaks to the northeast, strong gusty winds across the north. Through much of the day, gale troops in exposed spots. And then for the western side of Britain, much of Northern Ireland, here we're going to see showers and longer pulses of rain as the morning goes on. Some dreadful conditions uh, for a time. If you're hitting the roads through Northern Ireland and the northwest, there will be longer pulses of rain and for the north where it's cold enough there will be sleet and snow across the higher ground around about 500 meters or so upwards we will see the snow settling for a time and with the strong winds as well feeling very cold up there. For the south, well, we're going to see some lively showers, some prolonged and heavy. In fact, the Met Office have issued a severe weather warning for parts of Hampshire across to Sussex. Here we could see some very intense downpours in the next few hours some containing the odd rumble of thunder and maybe even some hail. Slowly drying up from the Midlands southwards through the afternoon, but saying chilly today, particularly with the lack of sunshine. Turning chilly overnight, drying up with some mist and fog come the early hours. For your local weekend,